Hello folks, Dave's RV Channel here. Today I have a special treat for you. I have a Flagstaff Microlite 21 DS. If you've never seen one of these, it got a great layout. It's very lightweight, dual axle. Good RV for the money. Uh, I'm gonna show you the inside and the outside. I'm basically gonna show you this RV from somebody who's not trying to sell it to you. I do not work for this company that makes them. I don't work for the company that sells them. I'm just an independent guy that works for myself and uh, I enjoy doing this on my free time. So if you think that's cool, hit that thumbs up and that'll give me two cents. <laughs> that's about what YouTube pays. Okay folks, uh, what I want to share with you is most of the stuff that you do not see when you go on the internet. Basically when you go on the internet, it's gonna show you a lot of the stuff on their website. But what I wanna do is I wanna kinda of walk through this and tell you what I see just from my experience dealing with RVs. Now, there's a lot of stuff that's just common sense that you'll be able to see for yourself, but I wanna kinda of tell you just in case you're not able to get out and shop around. This way you can uh, look at several models in the comfort of your own home. But if you have any questions, what I would suggest is go to the Flagstaff website and uh, just look it over and it'll tell you how many, how many gallons of fresh water and all that kind of stuff these tanks will hold. But what I want to do is I want to take you inside and show you this RV as I see it and as it feels to me from my experience over the years. I'm gonna tell you the good and bad of this RV as I see it. I'm not gonna tell you just the good or just the bad. I feel like, uh, you know, RVs have, each one of them have a little something different to them, but a lot of RVs have the same thing and sometimes I notice, uh, I notice good things and bad things about RVs. First thing I'm gonna do is sit on this couch and see how it feels. And I'm gonna tell you, it's a, I'm gonna give this about a six out of, probably more like a five out of 10. But uh, you know, that's right as you come in the door, this couch is right here. Now this couch converts into a Murphy bed. I'm not gonna be able to do that and hold the camera at the same time, but basically if you see this handle right here, that handle is what you pull to make that couch lay flat. And then there is a Murphy bed that comes down from behind that couch and that will lay across that uh, couch. So uh, I'm just gonna tell you folks, I've been on those uh, beds before I would highly suggest if you uh, consider buying one of these that you upgrade that mattress into a, uh, a home size mattress, if, if you will. So anyway, it does have, uh, this RV's got plenty of windows in it. You've got uh, one here right by the couch. You've also got one uh, right here in the kitchen area over the uh, prep space. And you've also got as you come around to the dinette, you've got three windows within just the dinette. And now we're back to the front again. Uh, there's a window on the other side of the couch. Now, there is plenty of storage in this RV. You've got, you've got a, like a his and hers on each side of the couch. Now, what I like about this is it's, right by the couch so if the couch is in the downward position or the uh, bed in the upward however you want to look at it you can get to this closet area by standing up you do not have to straddle beside the bed just trying to get to it so if that bed was made and the bed was out out here you would really struggle getting to those uh, storage cabinets to get your clothes out. Again, I'm going to be honest with you folks as I go through these things. If you've watched a lot of people talk about these RVs, they don't tell you that kind of stuff. So I'm trying to save you the time so you don't have to spend days out shopping for an RV. 
you'll be able to watch my channel and I'm going to take you out there and show you every one of them that I can find. If you also notice you've got the charging center here, you can uh, plug in a cigarette lighter type adapter or you've got uh, also a 110 type uh, plug in, which would work great because if you were sitting on this couch and you had your computer right there, that would work great. So I like that they put that there. Now, if you've watched many of my videos, you will see that I have complained about companies putting a uh, skylight right over the couch or bed. I do not like this idea, folks, and I'm going to tell you that if I were to buy this RV, I would have um, that covered up. I would put an exterior cover over it, and I would... Uh, try to make me something that I could cover from the inside if I bought this and if I planned on using it during any winter months. The reason I say that is hot air will rise to that point, moisture will gather, moisture comes dripping right down onto your couch or onto your bed. This will not occur if the heat is not on. So you're good year round Anytime this thing's in storage or whatever, you don't have to worry about it. But if you are camping in the wintertime and you have heat source in here, you will get condensation drip from that point. And that's on every RV, not just this one. That's on every one of them. Uh, so anyway, blocking from the uh, bed area to the living room area, you have a pull curtain. That This curtain is on a track. And you can see that that track system goes across here and you can pull that across to block the bedroom from the living dining area. There's also uh, speakers that I did not mention. You've got speakers that are hooked up through the DVD and uh, stereo system that uh, are hooked up in here to kind of give you like a surround sound. You've also got uh, heating and air duct into the ceiling as well. So that way you're not just having hot spots or cold spots throughout the RV. It gives you a lot more comfortable um, experience. So uh, another thing I want to show you is the uh, dinette. Right now it's in the broke down position, which uh, basically means this is turned to where you can make a bed real easily out of it. All you would do is take those back cushions and put those across the top of the bed, across the table, I'm sorry, and that becomes a bed. But what I want to do is I want to sit down on this cushion and tell you the comfort level. And I'm just going to tell you honestly the comfort level of these cushions. I'm going to give them about a 3, maybe a 4 out of 10. Um, and you know this is probably going to work good as far as a bed. That it would give you a firm type uh, bed cushion but I, I would not want to sit at that for a long period of time. Again, I do not just tell you the good or just the bad of an RV. I will tell you as I see it. On the slide out here, which the slide is very deep, so it does make this room very roomy. If you look in here between the kitchen and that slide, you've got a good uh, close to six foot between uh, the, the kitchen area and the slide. So you've got plenty of room to move about in here. You could probably put a wheelchair in here if you had to. Um, I doubt that a wheel wheelchair could go through that doorway there, but just kind of letting you know what I see. The uh, cabinets that are over the dinette uh, just have an open latch and uh, nothing fancy here, which is okay. It's just one less thing to tear up got pretty nice modern style lighting and I'll get over here to the uh, refrigerated area you got a uh, refrigerator freezer which I like that it is separate that way you're not letting all the air out trying to wrestle with your freezer when you're opening the refrigerator to get to it and you've also got a uh, storage area for more like a pantry for food and personally folks if that was me I would probably use a lot of that area for my clothing simply because of how difficult it is 
to get your clothing from beside the uh, the bed and they thought of that too because they did put you a towel bar up there to uh, to hang your clothes from so uh, yep these will come out so that's not a problem you also do have uh, some a uh, couple of little doors down below and uh, and also another outlet an electrical outlet which uh, I like to see that that's a good place for it to be if you were to have uh, a vacuum in here you that would be a great place to hook it up to or anything else that's just uh, I love to see that they put these outlets in here because they never are enough you can never have enough outlets all right so going into the bathroom you will see that it's got a standard foot foot flush toilet and it's also got uh got the doors on the shower shower doors and it's also got a good uh ceiling rise so that for us tall guys when we get in that shower we got plenty of headroom and i see that it does have a max air fan so that's a good thing to have uh, that's another thing that I always suggest, folks, is I always look for a Max Air fan or a um, any fan similar to that, but you do not want one of the fans that just has a little four-inch uh, fan in it. Those things are junk. Anyway, we've got a uh, good storage, like a linen storage. You could actually store all of your clothes in here, probably. It's a good... Uh, eight inches deep inside of there and it's very wide I would say about 16 inches wide so you've got plenty of room to store a lot of clothes inside of there now uh, they've also got a mess medicine cabinet and it's about a four inch deep and you can see that it's a good three stories high plus there's room up on top if you were to keep this thing parked at all times you also have a a good it looks like a standard size sink you've got your um, place to put your uh, toothbrush and your soap and there's also a little cabinet door down below and again they did give you an electrical outlet here in the bathroom for uh, maybe curling iron or shave set up or something of that nature and now we get into the kitchen that's where the good stuff happens right here now especially if you out camping You've got a good area to put you some uh, silverware, and you've got a, a drawer that pulls out. Oh, I like that. That is nice. It rolls out real good. It's about a uh, four-inch deep drawer, and uh, but you can see that even though the the drawer is only four inches deep, you still have a good four inches here, so you could stick a high-level pot uh, in that area and it not be a problem and you do have an oven so you've got a good enough area here you could cook a turkey or a boston mud in that which would be nice if you're out camping for sure and you've got a uh, three burner stove set up you've also got a two bowl sink and it does have um, the removable top here which will give you a little more room to do some cooking and prep on and of course you've got a microwave up above this is your dvd player set up so you can actually play this through your tv and uh you can take your tv outside and set it up as well that way you've got uh give you a little flexibility and watch a ball game outside while uh you know somebody else could be watching one in here if you wanted to this tv is actually set up on a swivel system and the good of that is, is if you're sitting at the dinette, you can turn it that direction. Or if you were over at the bed area, you could turn that TV towards the bed area as well. So uh, anyway, I have uh, shown you a little bit about this RV. And again, I'm going to show you just a little something that I do not like. And if this is not your first time to watch my channel, you know where I'm about to go. If this... Uh, if this uh, dinette slide was pulled inward you could not get to your refrigerator and again i will say that i i hate to see that there's only three things i like to see when a when an rv has a slide i want you to be able to get to the bathroom i want you to be able to get to the kitchen and i want you to be able to get to the bed 
if that slide is slid in because if you're boondocking you want to be able to get to that slide or let's say you're having vehicle troubles or you've had battery troubles and you can't get this slide in without having to do it manually you want to be able to get to those three things I just mentioned especially if you're going down the road and you have an upset stomach you jump in here and you want to use that bathroom you want to be able to get to it if you pull over and you want to make you a sandwich you do not want to set your slide out just to make a sandwich so that's why i like to point that out folks it may never be a problem to you or if you're like me that would be something that would bother me several times because when I travel, I like to be able to just step into my RV and do what I need to do and get back at it. But again, I will say that this is one of my favorite RV units. This is a 21DS. My favorite RV unit is a 21FBRS, and I do have a video to it on this channel. And you will see that these are very similar, but the 21 FBRS, you can get to all the three major components at any time. Okay, as I said earlier, it does have a slide and you can see that it actually has a cover going over the slide. And uh, I highly recommend getting that on any RV. Not just this one, but any RV. Uh, that will help prevent leaks from getting into your RV. Uh, here is the sticker if you want to hit pause and read some of that uh, This is where you're going to find your gross vehicle weight, which is uh, 6,028 pounds. That's with this RV fully loaded and uh, Here's some of your tire spec information and they've got that in French and in kilograms for you and uh, Also, here is your cargo sticker And again, they've got that in kilograms versus pounds which I do not understand why we started doing that, but we did. Uh, the, um, the rack on here, I do like that you can now put about three to four batteries on this battery rack, which I love to see that. So uh, it, it does have uh, capabilities for solar that's already included on this RV as it sits today. So uh, with those batteries, that's definitely going to help you right here is your solar plug so i think that is very handy to have that right here especially with your batteries right there of course you got four corner jacks on this thing these are uh they're not electric but um you know you can take a cordless drill put 11 16 uh drill or a socket on it doesn't take but a second to run that down if it's electric to me that's just another thing that's probably going to break on you later on so it kind of saved you some headache I talked earlier about being able to put a TV outside. You can see right here is where you hook your TV at. I do like these windows, folks. I like how these windows seal. Uh, I like that they're tinted. This RV has a very nice, classy design. Very clean outside, the way it's uh, laid out. And uh, very aerodynamic by the front nose of it. Again, folks. I highly recommend going on the internet to their website and read all the particulars about it as far as the specs that they give it and uh, you know kind of see see what uh see what all you're looking for see if it has it but again here is the model of it it's Flagstaff 21 DES which is a micro light series and uh, here is the phone number to the uh, dealership if you'd like to give them a call if you have any questions or comments Folks, I sure appreciate y'all watching today. That concludes today's edition of Dave's RV Channel. <laughs> so this, uh, this uh, RV is one of my favorites. I've uh, always liked it. I love the layout of it. Other than the, uh, the slide over the refrigerator issue, but other than that, it's a, it's a good model. Uh, they, they've been making them for a while now. It's one of the top 10 most popular RV models, I do believe. That's, that's my understanding. Uh, but anyway, Thanks again for watching, folks. Y'all hit me a little thumbs up down there and give me a subscribe if you hadn't done that already. And hope to see y'all soon. Y'all take care. See ya. Bye-bye.